This video is going to be a skill review for the cervical collar application. When indicated by the spinal injury assessment protocol, a cervical collar should be applied prior to moving the patient. For major trauma or if the patient is obtunded, hold manual C-spine. When sizing a C-collar, start with the head in neutral alignment. Measure from the top of the shoulder to the base of the chin. The two types of collars that we are most likely to encounter are the ambuperfit and the larital stiff neck. Both collars are sized and applied in a similar fashion. To adjust the larital stiff neck, if necessary, begin by releasing the locks by pressing on the tabs from behind. Next, using the measure you took from the patient with your fingers, measure from the bottom of the plastic edge to the closest circle. For this one, it'll be the third or regular size. Proceed to pull the chin piece up until the red is inside the selected circle. Lastly, press the tabs in to lock. The first thing you'll notice about the Ambu Perfit is that the chin piece is folded back and that there are four locks instead of two. To adjust the Ambu Perfit, Take the measurement from your patient and measure from the sizing line down to the hard plastic edge. Adjust to the indicated size. Once adjusted, ensure that all four locks are applied and fold out the chin piece. Apply the collar by moving it up towards the chin and wrapping it around the back of the neck, securing it with Velcro. If applied correctly, the patient should be able to open their mouth and there should be no gaps present. The head and neck should be in neutral alignment and the collar should conform snug around the neck without hyperextending the neck. If no collar can be made to fit, then you may also use a towel or rolled blanket or other device to try to keep the head in neutral alignment. Once a collar is applied, it should be left in place, but it can be removed if it is interfering with airway management or if the patient is in extreme distress. If you have any questions, please reach out to a member of the EMS training team.